guys, it's Salty Alley here with OSA's Pro Tip of the Week, and today we're talking copepods. Got some hot, shorty. <laughs> copepods are a tiny little crustacean that you may have seen in your reef tank or in your fish-only tank, and they're these tiny little bugs, and you might see them crawling all over the glass. And you may have wondered, what are those? And are they good or are they bad? Well, good news is they're actually great. So you want to see a bunch of those little bugs crawling over the glass because those are carpopods. They're a tiny, tiny little crustacean that are actually super beneficial to your tank. They benefit multiple different species of fish and they also will even benefit your corals. So there's a lot of fish that do rely on copepods, and those are mandarins especially. If you have a mandarin, you need to have a good pod population. And you need to honestly have a refugium as well to keep that pod population sustained because those fish eat pods all day long and eventually you'll run out of pods. So it's always good to make sure you have a tank big enough and a big enough refugium to sustain them. If you go to our YouTube channel, I have a whole video all about mandarins and you can learn all about them on that video. They also will benefit other species like wrasses. There's a lot of wrasse species like leopard grasses that prey on them. And there's also um, scooter blennies as well that highly enjoy them and benefit from them and actually require them. Also your corals will eat them too. If you actually buy live copepods like we have available here, you can feed them directly to your corals. And if you have some in your tank when they're free swimming at nighttime especially because they're nocturnal, your corals will actually even feed on those as well. So here we have a bunch of copepods available from Agcor Technologies and they are actually read and raised right here in Rhode Island. So we have two different species in this container here. We've got Tisby pods and we have Apocalocyclops pods. There's all different sizes in there and you can see they're the tiny, tiny ones. So there's a lot of different species of copepods and the two that you mainly see in your tank are the Tisby pods and you may also see amphipods. Those are the big, big guys that look like little shrimp. Those are actually pods as well. So these ones are really good for your tank, especially if you're seeding it and you're trying to make it good for a mandarin dragonet. So you would dose these right into your refugium or right directly into your tank, ideally in the refugium so that they can stay safe and they can breed in there and that way they can get shut up into your tank um, slowly and not all at once and then they don't all get eaten. But come on down to right here to OSA and we will gladly help you guys with some pods. We have a bunch available and it's replenished every week because AdCore is great and they come do that for us every week and make sure we have a nice fresh supply. So come on in and check them out.